Okay, uh, my name is Pete Hebertson, also an organizer with Proton Tenants United. You know, since you declared the housing state of emergency last year, the crisis is only getting worse. If one thing is clear today, it must be that. Um, tenants are still getting priced out and evicted for no just reason, and our unhoused neighbors are still being forced from place to place with no reasonable alternatives. The, you know, the declaration may be up for debate in city council today, but for those of us who are living this, it's really not a debate at all. This is an emergency. The declaration needs to be extended. It needs to be extended for much more than six months. I'm not trying to say that you all haven't made any effort here. Honestly, I'm not. Um, investment in affordable housing and shelters is important, but what effort you have made, it just isn't enough, and it isn't meeting our most urgent needs. Can't build our way out of this, and we can't afford to wait that long. We need a rent, rent freeze and a moratorium on no-cause evictions, and we need it now. We need to stop the bleeding so we can put tenant protections with actual teeth and rent control in place. And we really do need to put a stop to Airbnbs being, our housing being used for Airbnbs full time instead of as long term housing for our actual Portlanders. And most of all, we need a shift in perspective from you. We need to see you put our needs above a landlord's ability to exploit this crisis for their bigger and bigger and bigger profits. There's no clear example really of the housing emergency than what's happened on the Springwater Corridor. And you know, there's a survey done of people living out there found that the great majority of folks are out there because of an eviction, because of a rent increase, because of a loss of their job, along with illness and domestic violence. Over 90% of those people say that they have lived in Portland for over 10 years, yet they're being stereotyped as criminals and outsiders in their own community. I'm not even denying that this has been a major strain for people in Lenson, Brentwood, Darlington. A lot of those folks are just trying to hang on to their own housing and get by. But, you know, what I think you all need to recognize is that if a house person on my block commits a crime, you do not send the police to evict our whole neighborhood. And our unhoused neighbors, our unhoused friends, they need that level of dignity from you. They need to be treated as the individual human beings. They're not some great mass. They are of our community. They need a hand up. They do not need a kick when they're already down. And they need to have their voices heard. They need to be a part of making solutions that work for them. I'm going to wrap it up now by saying that if we do not take aggressive action to keep Portland housed, then it's only a matter of time till we have the next Springwater Corridor. We need to extend the declaration, please, you do. And let that be the first step of an actually aggressive solution that matches the severity of this crisis. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Uh, next three. Our Jamie